What's up YouTube, this is Lightning with Lightning Game Reviews and today I'm bringing to you some good or bad news depending on your viewpoint and what you think of the companies involved um, or the company involved, excuse me uh, GameStop uh, has been accepting retro trades in for a while at select stores now I have looked and looked and looked and I cannot find all of the locations where they are taking the trade-ins at. Um, so far I've only seen uh, New England states like uh, you know New York region um, you know things like that which you know doesn't make any sense because they send everything they, t they take as a trade-in to the refurbishment center in Grapevine, Texas. So I don't know, as a money-saving thing, it sounds like it would be a smarter choice to go with Texas, or at least the Texas Metroplex, you know, or say some of the areas around that, because, you know, you're talking, you're talking a, a courier versus, you know, two tanks of gas for a semi, you know, deliver that, that <laughs> you know, but that, I'm, I'm getting off on a tangent. So... You know, some of you may be going, "Yay! This is great! This is awesome! This is amazing! I can go, uh, I can go, and I can uh, play some of my old games again." You know, you can buy some of these games on uh, uh, on um, on their website. However, it does come with a catch. Um, some of the games have been listed as "quote unquote" rare, and some of them are two hundred plus dollars. And that is quite frankly bullshit pricing. Um, as every single one of you know, it is 100% possible, and it's a legal gray area, most likely illegal, but most of you don't care anyways, to get an emulator. And you can download the entire Nintendo Entertainment System library and it would fit on a DVD three times over. Similar things can be said for the Super Nintendo. Now when you get to the Nintendo 64 you know some of those games are getting to be you know the 20 to 30 uh, megabyte range. Uh, however uh, there are <clears throat> websites which have uh, the entire library uh, to download, and it's a couple of gigs. And uh, in this day and age, that's nothing. That is that is that is absolutely nothing to download. Um, now, I'm not advocating piracy in any way, shape, form, or fashion. Um, I personally do not pirate anything. I do not uh, agree with the. Uh, I do not agree with pirating. Um, However, I see the bonuses of emulation, and I think that Nintendo could stand to make quite a bit of money if they had an officially licensed emulator, which you could download from their website for, let's say, 50 bucks. And... You know, you could do the same thing with Sega, and Sony PlayStation, and then, you know... Play, uh, Sony's already doing that with the PlayStation 2 games on the PlayStation 4, however, that's another subject. They fucked that up hard because, uh... Well, frankly put, if you own a PlayStation 2 game, you have to buy it again. You have to fucking buy it again just so you can play it on your PlayStation goddamn 4. Um, I'm sorry, but, you know, you can still find plenty of PlayStation 2 games... PlayStation 2 consoles that work perfectly fine, and I'm getting off on a tangent again, I'm sorry. So, here you have a company that is offering retro gaming uh, at quote-unquote affordable prices. However, some of the games are listed as quote-unquote rare, and they, uh, well, they, um, you know, some of those prices are a little outrageous. But uh, I'm getting off on a tangent here, and uh, I'm going to get to the real meat of the problem. 
Um, you see, there's been a reproduction market out there for quite some time now. Almost 10 years, I would actually say, there has been a reproduction market out there where you could buy Chinese reproduced games that were basically, that are basically the the Nintendo games you would buy, except, you know, when you looked at the motherboard on the actual game, it would be... You know, the chips would say, you know, 2014-2015 instead of, you know, the 1980s on the chips. Um, plus, the battery inside it would be quite uh, quite new versus quite old. So, you know, it, it's easy to spot the reproductions if you know what you're looking for. But, um, you see, there's the that's where the problem comes in. GameStop isn't checking to see if these things are reproductions, and they're selling games for $200 as if they are, uh, you know, brand new games. Uh, I've read stories about a man who bought um, a blue N64 cartridge that uh, was not a blue game. Anybody who's old enough to remember the N64... Blue cartridges were, simply put, sports games. Tony Hawk. Uh, I, I don't know if Matt Hoffman was on N64, but I know Tony Hawk was. The Madden games. Uh, if it was a sports game, it was a blue cartridge. I think racing games also were blue. I'm not 100% sure on that. So if you find a blue cartridge, and it's not a sports-styled style, game... That is not the game you want. Or it's a reproduction. And they sold this for $250. The guy loaded it up. It was not the game he bought. It wasn't even a reproduction in a blue cartridge. Some guy was able to scratch off the label, print off uh, a new label of the, um, of the original, slap some adhesive on it, slap it on there, and boom, he's done. I mean, it's not all that hard to do. I mean, I could probably do it if I had the time. And so he trades it in. He gets his GameStop credit, which, you know, I can't blame him for being the devious motherfucker that he is, but I can blame him for being a criminal because he did, he did commit a crime. Uh, if you do, if you, you're committing a crime when you do this. And over $250 worth... Uh, or depending on how much money you get for it, um, that could be a felony, at least in Texas. So if you're listening to me and you do this, stop now. You will eventually be caught. Stop. Other people are selling the reproductions to GameStop as if they were, you know, the original games. Some some reproduction companies print reproduction in the bottom right hand corner, so they'll scratch it out, throw some dirt onto the cartridge. And say, oh, it's been sitting in my, it's been sitting in my closet for 25 years, you know. And it's, it hasn't been, you know. The, these are straight up lies. Um, and GameStop's not checking these. They're not checking you see if they're reproductions, you know. Uh, it takes a Phillips head screwdriver and five seconds to check the board to see if it's a reproduction or not. If you look at the the chips and it says 2013 on it, it's not a legitimate copy. Now, the, I don't think there's anything wrong with selling a reproduction copy other than the fact that it's illegal. Um, these are counterfeit Chinese copies. They may have been made on the original machines that, uh, uh, that made uh, NES games back in the day, but... They are counterfeits. And when you purchase a counterfeit, well, guess what? You, you know, it's illegal. You're purchasing an illegal copy. And, you know, a reproduction... 
I don't want to get too much into this because I don't want to harp on the whole uh, piracy aspect of it because that is physical piracy. That is people printing stuff that should go to another company and profiting off of it. I've seen com I've seen websites out there that are selling that have caught on to the whole GameStop craze, and they're selling their games at half the price of GameStop. Uh, you know, four or five years ago, you could have bought Earthbound 2 from a website I know of for $25. Now it's $115 because Earthbound 2 is $230 on uh, GameStop.com. Um, or not Earthbound 2, excuse me, Earthbound. I don't think there was an Earthbound 2. Uh, so, you know, that, that, that goes to show you how some of these people are already profiting off of it and these companies are you know trying to profit off of GameStop doing this you know selling the games at quote unquote half the price of GameStop and it's a, it's a scam it's all a scam do not buy a retro game from GameStop there are Facebook groups up there that exist solely for retro gaming if you want to buy a retro game buy it from one of these Facebook groups because most of these groups out there have stipulations if you want to sell your game and it's a high dollar game you have to prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that your game is legitimate and they make you open it up and if the board does not match what they should know well then Guess what? You can't sell your game. You're banned from the group. I mean, that's that says it all right there. So where do you want to buy your games from? The easy markets of GameStop? Where you are almost sure to find the game you're looking for. It may not be the legitimate copy you were hoping for but it is the game you were looking for. Or would you rather go to one of these Facebook groups or one of these retro gaming mom and pop locations? Um, I think the point of this message here is a cautionary tale. Be careful of what you buy because it may end up coming back to bite you in the ass simply because you did not know what you were getting. This is Lightning with Lightning Game Reviews. Cautioning all of you to be careful out there and to always have fun.